Hey, you know, I don't usually discuss politics uh, on the show, mainly because I don't understand politics. But um, today I want to uh, talk about politics, but I'm going to use it um, to, to unite us, I think, um, because I think we're all going to feel the same way when we see these things. I really, truly feel that. Um, I went online. I found some clips from city council meetings. And uh, the great thing about city council meetings is anyone can speak. And then the bad thing about city council meetings is that <laughs> anyone can speak. <laughs> Um, so here's a woman uh, in Santa Cruz, California, and she's trying to make an argument for growing food. So let's all watch. You can grow every kind of fruit and vegetable you want. That's how they do it. They have fruit trees and vegetable trees. That's where fruit and vegetable comes from. Growing food is so good um, for the people because it's free. All you have to do is pay the farmers and pay for the land. But why do we have to pay for the land? The land's free. It's new land, you know? I mean, do we have to pay for the land? Do we have to pay rent? Do we have to pay? Um, the food's free, so we should just sell it at the farmer's market. <laughs> you, you can't argue with that. <laughs> she made Several points. All right, so this next guy, uh, he's from Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, he had some c complaints about a helicopter. The evening of the 28th, I woke up in my house at late in the evening, early mornings at a.m., and my house was shaking, and it's shaking, and it gets shaking, and it's shaking, and it shakes for over a minute to two minutes. It shook constantly. My life was in danger because we have a helicopter pilot that flew 25 to 30 feet off my roof line between the magnolia tree and the property line for one to two minutes, and then he bailed out. And I followed him, and I've tracked him down. And that, yep, that is exactly why I don't have a husband or a helicopter. <laughs> Both of those things scare me. This next city council meeting is in Seattle. Some people were upset that developers were cutting down trees, which is a bad thing. I love trees. Um, they, here's what they did. They turned their rage into a musical. Such a lack of life and sound. All that's left is bare, muddy ground. A magnificent tree was murdered. The mighty dollar cut it down. There's a hole in the sky where the tree once was. Somebody's making money. Stand up. There's a hole in the sky where the tree once was. Somebody's making money. There's a hole in the sky where a tree once was. Somebody's making money. Come on! There's a hole in the sky where the tree once was. Somebody's making money. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. You take that, Hamilton. <laughs> All right, the last clip is uh, from a city council meeting in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm not entirely sure what the issue is the, women is, uh, the woman here is speaking about. Uh, whatever it is, she's clearly angry. Guess what? I'm not the rancher. Not the rancher's wife, not the rancher's kid, not that I couldn't have been. That's not the path I chose, was it? My ex-husband's the killer. And newsflash, she's not dead. Hey, now my brother was here checking you guys out. So was my uncle's. Do you know you have scratchy toilet paper? You sent an officer over to me to make sure I put a filter in. This is the best I could do, camels, OK? Here, we'll leave it here, too. I don't think there's any cigarettes in it. One of my brothers brought that to me. And here is a monkey. And no, you don't get it, OK? Let's clear up some things. I have two boobs, not six. I have six butts. <laughs> she, she said a lot of things that were disturbing. The most disturbing is that she showed him a monkey and they weren't going to be able to get it. <laughs> not fair. You can't show someone a monkey and say you don't get it. All right, well, I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today. I don't know what it is, but I hope we learned one.